Hey guys, your boy Covers, and welcome to my review for episode 9 of season 6 of Game of Thrones. Sorry this wasn't up yesterday, but something is, you can see my laptop is in the background there. Something is not working with its webcam. I tried to get onto the webcam on my laptop, and for some reason it wouldn't even open. So, I'm not sure what the problem is there, so I'm using the... Uh, webcam on my desktop which I've used before so it's not like it's new but I haven't used it in a while oh, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing headphones instead of using the mic uh, that's in the computer itself uh, I find the headphones produce better quality sound anyway um so, episode 9. In short, the best TV episode ever. Like, of any show. Name a show, they, they don't have a better episode. There is, no, there is nothing that will... Eh. I, I don't even know how Game of Thrones is going to top Game of Thrones. Which is odd. So, let's start with hit the uh, small bit we got in Marine, in with then he he going up to the masters. They think she's surrendering, and she's like, "We're not here to discuss my surrender. We're here to discuss yours." Do you forget? No, she didn't say. Do you forget? But she may as well have, because. I mean, hoorah, who flies up a Drogon? And, and, and suddenly the Masters think are probably thinking, Ah, yes, dragons. How did we forget that? <laughs> like, none of them got burned, which was really disappointing. But what did happen to the Masters was satisfying in its own right. It, because... He's, Daenerys is like, one of you has to die. Hey, well, Daenerys had flown off by this point. Tyrion was the one who said, one of you has to die. He, and the other, and the two original masters are like, choose this guy, he's new. Who? And the new guy, he, he gets down and he's starting begging Grey Worm. And Grey Worm slashes the troll of the two original masters. There's, which had to feel so good for him. Him. And considering these are for pretty much the people who'd been. who treated him like crap. from pretty much the day he was born. So. Good to see Grey Worm getting a bit of revenge. And in a way, I don't know if he's gonna. you know, I don't think he'll celebrate. <laughs> Tyrion tells the surviving master to hey to tell the tell uh, all the RCs that you know if they want to rise up again, Daenerys will be happy to burn them to the to a crisp. Meanwhile, Daenerys was burning people to a crisp <laughs> because as she was flying off with Drogon, there are two dragons who for some reason hadn't gotten out up until that point. Even though I don't think Terry closed the door. Her. But, you know, they waited. I guess they were waiting for Daenerys to come back. She's b Heck. Heck. And the three of them team up and burn in one boat. Oops. Now, initially, I was like, why is she only burning one boat? But then it clicked. She needs those boats. <laughs> Now there was I, I had heard a few people predicting that maybe Daenerys and crew would need the help of Yara and Theon to get to survive the attack of the Masters. That's not exa That's not what they did at all. In fact, Yara and Theon didn't show up until after the siege was over. Her. 
or yeah, and, and Danny he bonded over their terrible fathers. I don't know why Tyrion didn't chime in and say, "Hey, hey, that's not female exclusive. I had a terrible father too. That's why I killed him." <laughs> that would have been a hilarious line and something Tyrion would say. He so I'm not sure why they didn't have him say it. Guess it doesn't really matter. But uh, the Iron Islands will be broken off. They won't be doing any more her pillaging or anything like that at on the in the se in kingdoms. Or will it be six kingdoms? Because doesn't seven kingdoms include the Iron Islands? Or am I wrong in that? I could be wrong with that. To be honest, politics on this show bores me. I'm just interested in the action. So they aim hey, hey for I remember who on the he's Bond and I guess they're friends now. Way he he dang he has another friend and 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 she has some. And who acts? He lives in Westeros. As current, he technically maybe he. And all she has to do is burn a few. Who? Who? Iron Island uncles. And Yara and Theon will help her take the Iron Throne. So yeah, that's what happened in Marine. Now to Winterfell, where oh my god, that was awesome. So let let's break it down. John and his war council will will decide. You know, let's set uh, trap for Ramsay and let him come to us. Sansa's like, you know, that won't work. He's not, he doesn't fall for traps. He sets them. They have a, the day before the battle, they have a little conversation with Ra and He where John tries to say, you know, we don't need, there doesn't need to be a big battle. We need to, we should do this one-on-one, -on -one, honorable style. And I like that. Even though he was constantly calling John a bastard, Ramsay dared recognize that John was good. Which, you know, coming from Ramsay didn't sound right. The fact that he was praising someone else. Normally he only praises his cruelty. And his enjoyment at dishing out said cruelty. So, that was weird. And odd. Hmm. Yeah, so that was really odd. Really. Um, but yeah. Huh. Uh, uh, they threw who Shaggy Dodd's head down, which pretty much signaled old what was gonna happen to poor Rickon. And. The fact that he was missing Rickon on purpose just added to the monster that Ramsey's that the character Ramsey was. So after so he decides to just before the battle starts to release Rickon, say run to your brother, or he was firing his bow. Ah, uh, as I said, he was missing him on purpose, and just before her, her John and Rick, I made it to each other. Rickon got killed, uh, which doesn't really surprise me. I think we all knew that Rickon was going to die. I think it was a bad sign. Like, I don't exactly. It it's not exactly a good sign if something happens to your dire wolf. Oh, like, let's look at the examples. S um, Lady, which was Sansa's direwolf, she got 
got killed because of what Nymeria did to Joffrey, and then Joffrey, he became an insufferable a-hole and tortured Sansa. Huh? Huh? Um, Grey Wind was killed uh, at the Red Wedding. Just around... And then they put his head onto who uh, Rob's body. Summer died, then Hodor died, which you know, since Hodor was pretty much doing Bran's walking for him now, oh, who was obviously a real blow, oh, and the fact that you know Hodor was a beloved character, huh? So you know, as soon as we saw the head. As soon as ever, you know, and Shaggy Dog, once he was dead, there was really no hope for Rickon. I mean, if you didn't know at that point Rickon was gonna die, you've not been watching this show a long time. In which case, I've just spoiled a lot of stuff. <laughs> if you're like, who the hell is Grey Wind? Who the hell is Rob? <laughs> Go back and watch past stuff if you are new to this sh show. Oh, a white star at season six. Uh, anyway, um, one after seeing his brother die, he John's like, "Fuck this," and he rides. He's directly towards and. He's army. He his horse dies, so he says, "Fuck it, I'll walk." <laughs> he takes off his his um bell holt, holt takes out his sword, and <laughs> is ready to take on about six thousand men, according to Ramsey, charging towards him on horses. Is is. Is, and then the bow began, and his, hmm, his horses were climbing horses. His one one was kicking ass, ass, as Tormund got into a fight with the um, with the Umber guy. He, he, and he killed him with a bone. I don't know whose bone it was. I, I don't know. Was it? I don't know where it was. Tormund's, or maybe it was the one that he had on him. I, I don't know. No, who knows what wildlings? But, and I. I couldn't quite tell. I know it looked like he bit something off. I don't know if that was maybe a Mike Tyson like thing, thing where he bit off the ear, or maybe he someone can confirm or deny that. At what did Tormund buy off Umber before he killed him? And he when things looked darkest and bleak, he can hmm, the shield to carry hers, hers of the um, of, Ra of uh, Ramsey's army he, he had the Stark forces pinned in and who shows up but uh, oh of course it's Little Fink or and the Knights of the Vale and Sansa why was she They come in. They, he, he, he turned a favor in the, uh, uh, in favor of the Starks. Tormund one one and John all chased Ramsay, who turned tail and ran for Winterfell. And, oh, he gets in. They close the gate, and he, he's like, they don't have, they can't perform a siege. This is Winterfell. Oh, someone should tell oh, Ramsay, giants don't exactly. They like being locked out. So Torrent bashes in the door. Unfortunately, he is killed. Old he gets one final arrow in the eye from Ramsey. So Ramsey gets one more kill before John picks up a spear, uh, a shield, old, and blocks the arrows. Was until he's in close enough to start beating the shit out Ramsey. He, he beats him up. Beats him up, oh, 
and every and you could almost hear the fans cheering. And, and, yes. yes. John doesn't kill Ramsey cuz he kind of looks at Sansa and I guess, you know, he's like, "You know what? I'm not going to become you." So they tie him to a chair and they put him in, in, in the how in where the um in where the in where Ramsey keeps the hounds. And he had previously mentioned that he hadn't fed them in about a week. So who oh, they leave him to probably the most ironic death imaginable. Like the only way they could have made it more ironic is if they he somehow who oh, shot him with an arrow and flayed him and cut off his dick at the same time. Him. But maybe this is like a a balance for what he did to uh his stepmother and, and brother her earlier in the season. Maybe that's what that was. This is payback. This is you know like he he you shouldn't have done. Yeah. Oh, well, how's it feel? Kind of moment. Yeah. The Starks have retaken Winterfell. Oh, Davos is probably gonna kill Melisandre because you know you could see the murder in his eyes, which was unsettling but cool. <laughs> oh, like. This was the best episode ever, and if you do not think so, you may as well just sit in a corner and wait for death, because, you know, what is wrong with you? Who? That was amazing! Like, mind firmly blown. The fact that Ramsey got what was coming to him, finally, after th almost three... Pretty much three seasons of putting up with that fucking dickhead. Because Ramsey's real first appearance was the episode after the Red Wedding. And now... Ooh, ooh, he can go who apologize to who his dad or explain to his dad why hey, the hell he stabbed him in hell. So that was episode 9 of Game of Thrones. I don't know how they're going to top this. Obviously, something is going to happen with Cersei and King's Landing. I can't see this getting any better. Her. All I know is the Starks are back on the rise. Please, it's about goddamn time that something good happened to a Stark. You know, with most of them dying, going blind, another dying, another dying, another dying. One is crippled, one was tortured, one was tortured again. Seriously, it, it, it was not, up until this episode, it was not good to be a Stark. Technically, it still wasn't, because Rickon got killed. Hold, but... Nothing happened to Sansa, and John beat the shit out of Ramsay, so... Oh, that's enough in my book. So, well, let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts on this episode were, because... I think I, uh, I think I... He, he put it well. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for her more. Her view. It was very, very soon if you are new to the channel. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.